Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is briefly made clear and often illustrated. Today's topic is Crest Syndrome. To fix idea, think about the rostral crest. Crest syndrome, also known as the limited cutaneous form of systematic sclerosis, is a connective tissue. The acronym CREST refers to five main features calcinosis, reno, esophagal, sclerodactyly, and telangiectasia. In addition of detectable antibody against the syndrome. Crest syndrome sparse kidney, but if lungs are affected, they manifest as pulmonary artery hypertension. From epidemiologic point, Crest syndrome can be noted in up to 10% of patients with primary biliary cirrhosis. Let's deal with the five symptoms one by one. Calcinosis. What is calcinosis? Actually, calcinosis is the formation of calcium deposit in soft tissue. It is a rare condition that has many different causes that run from infection and injury to systemic disease like kidney failure. When there is calcinose in Crest syndrome, there is around the calcium, there is inflammation. And this inflammation, it stops the, cicatri the, the cicatrization. There is no cicatrization around the calcium. Here's a demonstration of calcinose on fingers. The next symptom is a reno phenomena. Actually, it is the first, it is often the first manifestation of Crest syndrome and coming before other symptoms by years. Stress and cold temperature provoke an exaggerated vasoconstriction of the small artery, arterior, vessel of the skin of the digit. Clinically, this comes as a white blue red transition in skin color. Before this transition, we see pallor and cyanosis of the dirit, followed by a reactive hyperemia and, uh, as, as they rewire. The next symptom is esophageal motility disorder, which gives solid and liquid dysphagia. When it affects the lower esophagus, that suggests Crest syndrome, systemic sclerosis, or uh, achalasia. However, if it affects the upper esophagus, it suggests more myasthenia or dermatomyosis. Donc, remember, low esophagus is Crest syndrome, upper esophagus is myasthenia derma, uh, and dermatomyosis. Symptom number four is sclerodactyly. Actually, it is the most easily recognizable manifestation. In crest, thickening generally only involves the skin of the finger, distal to the metacarpophalangeal joint. In the early course of the disease, the skin may appear edematose and inflamed. Sometimes, Dermal fibroblast overproduce extracellular matrix leading to increased tissue collagen deposition in the skin. Collagen then causes a progressive skin tightening. In 30 or 40 percent of patients, digital ischemic ulcer coming from the distal fingers. Crest syndrome is diagnosed when a patient presents two or more of the five major clinic symptoms. 
Additionally, blood exams are asked to test for a positive anti-centromere antibody, often known as solid anti-centromere autoantibody. This is the centromere. This is the antibody. And antibody are directed against the centromere. The specificity, the specificity of the test is over 98% in Kenneth syndrome. Knowing that, they also occur in systemic scleroderma and primary biliary uh, cirrhosis. Now, let's summarize what we just said. Crest syndrome, think of the crest of this roster. There are five parts in this roster. And crest is C R E S T. C stands for calcinosis, R st stands for rhino, E stands for esophageal, S stands for sclerodactyly, and T and T for tiriangiectasia. Don't forget antibody against centromere. They are specific for crescenting in 98% and could manifest themselves in primary biliary cirrhosis. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the like button and subscribe? We are waiting for your uh, comments. Thank you.